Okay, now that you've gotten this far in your setup, some of the parameters that you need for making good power measurements have already been entered into your unit by the computer. But there are a few more calibrations that you need to do with your iBike actually attached to your bike so that we can get good power measurements. And that's all we're going to do now. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is something called tilt calibration, which is going to enable the iBike to be able to measure the road slope as you're riding on the road. Now this is going to be done in three steps, and between each step we're going to turn the bike and face it in the other direction. But an important part of that is to make sure that the wheels are in the same spot on the floor between each measurement. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can either leave a mark on the ground where the wheel should be, or you can put the bike up against a wall or a door jam in order to keep it in the same spot. Alright, in order to do the tilt calibration, we're going to go into the setup menu by holding the up arrow for two seconds. And then make sure that you see the word tilt. So if you need to, you can use the left and right arrow buttons in order to see the word tilt. And then in order to start the process, make sure your bike is still and push the center button. Okay, when that's finished, the iBike is going to tell you to turn 180 degrees. So turn your bike and push the center button again. Alright, after that step, you're going to turn the bike one more time to get it back in its original position. And then you're going to push the center button again. And at the end of the process, it's either going to say good tilt or bad tilt. If it says good tilt, you're done. If it says bad tilt, just do the process over again so that we can make sure that the iBike is able to measure slope correctly. Okay, before we go riding, we need to make sure that our unit is going to be able to communicate with our speed sensor. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to go into the setup menu by holding the up arrow. And then hit the left arrow until you see the word scan. And then in order to start the scan, hit the center button, make that no blink, and then hit the up or down arrow to make it say yes, and then push the center button again. And then while this zero is blinking, it's actually scanning for sensors. Now keep in mind, this is going to find whatever sensors are active and might not be your bike if you're in a group of people. So if necessary, just move off to a separate area away from other people when you do this process. And I activated this, the uh, sensors earlier by turning the wheel. So I found my cadence sensor, found my speed sensor, and found my heart sensor. And it's done. It's ready for us to ride now. Okay, one final step of the setup process is to do something called a calibration ride. We're going to go into the setup menu. And then hit the left arrow until you see Cal Ride. And then you're going to ride one mile in one direction, and then you're going to turn around and come back along the same path to your starting point. To start the process, click the center button, and now it's time to start running, riding. This uh, mileage is going to show you how far you've gone, and it's going to prompt you to turn around when you go one mile. All right, so it's 0.5 miles, so we're halfway to our turning point. Okay, once you've gone a mile, the iBike is going to tell you to go back, turn 180 degrees and go back. Just make sure no cars are coming, and turn around and go back. The iBike will automatically know you're going back when you slow down. Alright, we slow down, turn around, and start going back. And now the center of the display is counting down to zero miles. Okay, the counter counted all the way back down to zero, and we are back at our starting point, and the calibration ride was done. And at that point, you're ready to ride. The iBike can also measure your elevation. Now, one of the optional calibration procedures is to give it your starting elevation so that the numbers that it gives you throughout the ride match up to the terrain. If you don't do this, it's OK. It's, there will just be an offset in your readings. But if you want the best readings you can get, just go into the Setup menu and go to the altitude page, hit the center button, and put in what your elevation is where you are. That's pretty close. And now you can hit the left the hit the right arrow twice and it shows you your elevation. And it will also be in your ride files. Alright, that's all it takes. Hopefully you didn't find that to be too difficult. And now you're ready to get on your bike and measure power.